dear listeners, and welcome to another episode of our English Learning Podcast. I'm Sophia. And I'm James. We are so happy to have you with us today. We have a really exciting topic to talk about. Today, we are going to discuss how you can use movies to improve your English listening skills. Yes, movies can be a fantastic tool for learning English. They are fun, engaging, and full of real-life language. We will talk about why watching movies is great for learning English and how you can get started. That's right, Sophia. First, let's talk about why movies are so good for learning English. When you watch a movie, you hear how people really speak. You get to listen to different accents, hear how words are pronounced, and learn new vocabulary. Exactly, James. Movies also show you how people use their body language and facial expressions. This helps you understand the meaning of what they are saying even if you don't understand every word. Another great thing about movies is that they are very entertaining. When you enjoy what you are watching, it doesn't feel like studying. You are having fun and learning at the same time. Yes, and there are so many different kinds of movies, you can choose what you like best. There are action movies, comedies, dramas, and even animated films. No matter what you are interested in, there is a movie for you. Now, let's talk about how to get started with using movies to learn English. First, choose a movie that you like. It's important to pick something that you are interested in. If you like the movie, you will want to watch it more than once. Good point, James. Watching a movie more than once can help you understand it better. The first time you watch, just enjoy the movie. Don't worry if you don't understand everything. Try to get the general idea of the story. Yes, the first time is just for fun. The second time you watch, try to pay more attention to the language. Listen to how the characters talk. Try to pick out new words and phrases. You can also turn on the subtitles in English. This can help you see how words are spelled and how sentences are put together. Another tip is to pause the movie and repeat what the characters say. This is called shadowing. It helps you practice your pronunciation and speaking skills. You can also write down new words and look them up later. That's a great idea. And remember, you don't have to understand every single word. Focus on getting the main idea. Over time, you will understand more and more. Yes, and don't be afraid to watch the same movie many times. Each time you watch, you will notice new things and understand more. It's like peeling an onion, layer by layer. Absolutely. And you can also talk about the movie with friends or family. Discussing the movie helps you practice speaking and thinking in English. You can talk about the story, the characters, and your favorite scenes. Yes, discussing the movie is a great way to practice. You can even write a short summary of the movie. This will help you improve your writing skills and remember new vocabulary. Movies are a wonderful tool for learning English. They are fun, full of real-life language, and offer many learning opportunities. Start with a movie you like, watch it more than once, use subtitles, practice shadowing, and discuss it with others. That's right, we will talk about choosing the right movies for learning English. We will give you some recommendations and tips on what to look for. That's right, we will talk about choosing the right movies for learning English. We will give you some recommendations and tips on what to look for. We talked about why movies are great for learning English and how to get started. And now we will talk about choosing the right movies to help you improve your English. Yes, James, choosing the right movie is very important. Not all movies are equally helpful for learning English. So we will give you some tips on what to look for when picking a movie. The first tip is to choose a movie that matches your current level of English. If you are a beginner or at an elementary level, it's best to start with movies that have simple language and clear pronunciation. Animated movies or family films are often a good choice because they are made for a wide audience and use simple language. That's a great point. For example, movies from Disney or Pixar are usually very good for beginners. 
They have clear speech, simple vocabulary, and interesting stories. Plus, they are very entertaining, so you won't get bored. Another tip is to choose movies with subtitles. Watching a movie with English subtitles can help you understand the dialogue better. It also helps you see how words are spelled and how sentences are structured. Try to use English subtitles, even if it's challenging at first. This will really help you improve your listening and reading skills. Yes, subtitles are very helpful. And if you are at an intermediate level, you can start watching movies with more complex language and themes. But it's still a good idea to choose movies with clear dialogue. For example, romantic comedies, dramas, or even some action movies can be good choices. That's right. Romantic comedies, like Notting Hill or The Proposal, usually have a lot of dialogue and everyday language. Dramas like The Pursuit of Happiness or Forrest Gump are also good because they tell engaging stories and use clear, understandable language. Another good choice for intermediate learners is TV series. TV series often use everyday language and have ongoing stories that keep you interested. Shows like Friends or The Office are popular because they are funny and use a lot of conversational English. Yes, TV series can be very effective for learning because you get used to the characters' voices and speech patterns over time. This makes it easier to understand them and follow the story. Now, let's talk about what to avoid. It's best to avoid movies with a lot of slang, heavy accents, or very fast speech when you are just starting out. These can be difficult to understand and might be frustrating. Good point. For example, movies with a lot of specialized jargon, like science fiction or certain crime dramas, might be hard to follow. It's also a good idea to avoid movies with very thick regional accents until you are more confident in your listening skills. And don't worry if you don't understand everything at first. It's normal to miss some words or phrases, especially if the movie is fast-paced. Just try to get the general idea and enjoy the story. Your understanding will improve with practice. Exactly. And another great tip is to read a summary of the movie before you watch it. This will give you an idea of the plot and main characters so you won't feel lost. Websites like IMDb or Wikipedia often have good summaries of movies. That's a very helpful tip, James. Also, consider watching the movie with a friend who is also learning English. You can pause and discuss parts of the movie together. This makes the learning process more interactive and fun. Yes, watching with a friend is a great idea. You can help each other understand difficult parts and discuss new vocabulary together. It's always more fun to learn with someone else. And finally, remember to enjoy the process. Watching movies should be a fun and relaxing way to learn English. Don't stress too much about understanding every word. Focus on enjoying the story and picking up new language naturally. We talked about why movies are great for learning English and how to choose the right movies. And now, we're going to dive into specific techniques you can use while watching movies to improve your listening skills. Yes, James, there are many techniques that can help you get the most out of watching movies. Let's start with one of the most important techniques, active listening. Active listening means really focusing on what you are hearing. Instead of just watching the movie for entertainment, you pay close attention to the dialogue and try to understand every word and sentence. This means no distractions, put away your phone, and really concentrate on the movie. That's a great point, James. Another technique that can be very helpful is shadowing. Shadowing means listening to a line of dialogue and then repeating it out loud. This helps you practice pronunciation and intonation. Yes, shadowing is a powerful technique. Here's how you can do it. Watch a short segment of the movie, maybe a few sentences at a time. Pause the movie and then repeat what the characters said. Try to mimic their pronunciation, speed, and intonation as closely as possible. It can be challenging at first, but with practice, it becomes easier. 
Shadowing helps you get used to the natural rhythm and flow of English. You'll also start to notice patterns in how native speakers connect words and use intonation. Another useful technique is to use subtitles wisely. We mentioned using English subtitles in the last episode, but let's talk about how to use them effectively. When you watch a movie with subtitles, try to listen first and only use the subtitles to check what you didn't understand. This helps you focus on listening rather than reading. Yes, that's a good approach, James. You can also try watching the movie without subtitles after you've watched it once with them. This will test your listening comprehension and help you see how much you've improved. Another technique is to take notes while you watch. Keep a notebook handy and write down new words, phrases, or expressions that you hear. You can look them up later and practice using them in sentences. This helps reinforce new vocabulary and makes it more likely you'll remember it. That's a great tip, James. And speaking of new vocabulary, you can also create flashcards with the new words and phrases you learn. Write the word on one side of the card and the definition, or an example sentence on the other side. Reviewing these flashcards regularly will help you retain new vocabulary. Yes, flashcards are a very effective learning tool. Another technique is to break the movie into smaller parts. Instead of watching the whole movie in one go, watch it in segments. This makes it easier to focus and absorb the language. You can watch a 10 to 15 minute segment, pause, and then review what you've heard. Yes, breaking the movie into smaller parts can make it less overwhelming. You can also rewatch these segments multiple times. Each time you watch, you'll catch new details and improve your understanding. Another great technique is to watch scenes with lots of dialogue, such as conversations between characters. These scenes are full of useful language that you can practice. Pay attention to how the characters interact, their choice of words, and their expressions. And don't forget to practice speaking. After watching a scene, you can try to summarize it in your own words. This helps you practice using new vocabulary and structures. You can also role-play the scene with a friend. Take turns being different characters and practice the dialogue together. That's a fun and effective way to practice. Another technique is to use resources that accompany movies, like scripts or transcripts. Reading the script while watching the movie can help you understand the dialogue better. You can find scripts for many movies online. Yes, reading along with the script can help you see how the spoken words match the written text. It's especially helpful for understanding fast or unclear speech. Plus, it gives you a chance to see how sentences are constructed and how punctuation is used. Try to immerse yourself in the language as much as possible. After watching a movie, you can look for interviews with the actors, behind-the-scenes clips, or reviews of the movie. These can give you more context and expose you to different ways of talking about the same topic. Yes, immersion is key to language learning. The more you surround yourself with English, the faster you will improve. And remember, the goal is to enjoy the process. Watching movies should be fun, so choose movies you love and enjoy the learning journey. We discussed various techniques for using movies to improve your English listening skills. And now, we're going to talk about how different movie genres can help you learn different aspects of English. Yes, James, different genres can offer unique learning opportunities. By choosing a variety of genres, you can expose yourself to different types of language and cultural contexts. Let's start with one of the most popular genres, romantic comedies. Romantic comedies, often called rom-coms, are great for learning conversational English. They typically involve a lot of dialogue between characters, which means you get to hear everyday language and expressions. Movies like Notting Hill or 10 Things I Hate About You are filled with phrases and vocabulary that are useful in daily conversations. That's right, James. Romantic comedies also tend to have clearer, slower speech, making it easier for learners to understand. Plus, the humorous and lighthearted nature of these movies makes them enjoyable to watch. 
Next, let's talk about dramas. Dramas are fantastic for learning more formal and emotional language. They often deal with serious topics and complex emotions, so you can learn how to express deeper feelings and thoughts in English. Movies like The Pursuit of Happiness or A Beautiful Mind provide rich vocabulary and complex sentence structures. Dramas can also expose you to different accents and regional dialects. For example, in The King's Speech, you hear a British accent and formal language. Listening to these variations helps you become more versatile in understanding and speaking English. Another genre to consider is action and adventure. These movies are fast-paced and filled with exciting scenes. While they may not have as much dialogue as romantic comedies or dramas, the dialogue they do have is often direct and straightforward. Films like Indiana Jones or Jurassic Park can help you learn imperative sentences and action-related vocabulary. Yes, action movies are great for learning commands and instructions. You'll hear characters giving orders, making plans, and reacting to situations quickly. This can be very useful for understanding and using concise language. Moving on to science fiction and fantasy, this genre is perfect for expanding your imagination and learning specialized vocabulary. Movies like Star Wars or Harry Potter introduce you to a wide range of new terms related to technology, magic, and fictional worlds. Science fiction and fantasy also often involve a lot of descriptive language. You'll hear characters describing new places, creatures, and technologies in detail. This helps you build a rich vocabulary and improves your ability to describe things vividly. Let's not forget about historical films. These movies can be excellent for learning about past events and cultures while also improving your English. Films like The King's Speech or Lincoln provide a historical context and use formal, sometimes archaic language. Historical films also offer a chance to learn about important historical figures and events. You'll hear speeches, dialogues, and discussions that can improve your understanding of formal English and historical terminology. Now, let's talk about animated movies. We briefly mentioned them in an earlier episode, but they deserve more attention. Animated films, like those from Disney or Pixar, are fantastic for learners of all levels. They use clear and simple language, making them easy to understand. Absolutely, James. Animated movies are also visually engaging, which helps you understand the story even if you miss some words. Films like Toy Story or Finding Nemo are full of fun dialogues and positive messages, making them perfect for both children and adults learning English. Another interesting genre is documentaries. Documentaries are non-fiction films that provide information on a variety of topics, such as nature, history, or science. Watching documentaries can help you learn specific vocabulary related to the topic and improve your understanding of complex subjects. Yes, documentaries are great for learning academic and technical language. They often feature interviews with experts, which can help you understand more formal and specialized English. Plus, they provide a lot of context, which makes the language easier to understand. Let's discuss musicals. Musicals combine songs with dialogue, which can be a fun way to improve your English. Movies like The Sound of Music or La La Land are filled with catchy songs and meaningful lyrics. Singing along can help you practice pronunciation and rhythm. Musicals also help you learn how to express emotions through language and music. The combination of music and dialogue makes it easier to remember phrases and vocabulary. Plus, it's a lot of fun to sing along and engage with the story. Different movie genres offer different learning opportunities. Romantic comedies are great for conversational English, dramas for emotional and formal language, action movies for direct and imperative sentences science fiction, and fantasy for imaginative and specialized vocabulary, historical films for formal and historical language, animated movies for clear and simple language, 
documentaries for academic and technical language, and musicals for pronunciation and rhythm. Exactly, James. By exploring a variety of genres, you can improve different aspects of your English and keep your learning experience exciting and diverse. We will discuss some practical tips for integrating movies into your regular English study routine. We talked about why movies are great for learning English, how to choose the right movies, techniques for improving listening skills, and using different genres. And now we're going to discuss how to integrate movies into your regular English study routine. Yes, James, movies are a wonderful tool for learning English. But to get the most out of them, it's important to have a balanced study routine. We'll share some practical tips on how to combine movie watching with other study activities. Let's start with setting goals. Having clear goals helps you stay focused and motivated. Think about what you want to achieve by watching movies. Do you want to improve your listening skills, expand your vocabulary, or understand different accents? Setting specific goals will help you choose the right movies and techniques. That's a great point, James. For example, if your goal is to improve listening skills, you might choose movies with lots of dialogue. If you want to expand your vocabulary, you might focus on movies with specialized language, like documentaries or historical films. Once you have your goals, create a schedule. Decide how often you want to watch movies and how much time you can dedicate to it each week. Consistency is key. It's better to watch a little bit every day than to watch a lot once a month. Yes, consistency is very important. You can start with short sessions, like 15 to 30 minutes a day, and gradually increase the time as you get more comfortable. This way, you can fit movie watching into your routine without feeling overwhelmed. Another tip is to combine movie watching with other study activities. For example, you can watch a movie and then do a related exercise, like summarizing the plot, writing a review, or discussing it with a friend. This helps reinforce what you've learned and improves your speaking and writing skills. That's a great idea, James. You can also use movies as a starting point for learning more about a specific topic. For example, if you watch a movie about space, you can read articles, watch documentaries, or do exercises related to space vocabulary and concepts. Yes, using movies as a springboard for further learning is very effective. Another important aspect is active engagement. When watching a movie, try to actively engage with the content. Take notes, pause and repeat dialogues, and ask yourself questions about the story and characters. Active engagement helps you stay focused and improves comprehension. You can also make a habit of looking up new words and phrases you hear in the movie. Write them down, find their meanings, and practice using them in sentences. This expands your vocabulary and helps you remember new words. Speaking of vocabulary, creating flashcards is a useful technique. After watching a movie, write down new words and their definitions on flashcards. Review these flashcards regularly to reinforce your learning. You can use apps like Anki or Quizlet to make digital flashcards. Flashcards are very effective for memorizing vocabulary. Another tip is to practice speaking by role-playing scenes from the movie. Choose a scene with a lot of dialogue and act it out with a friend or by yourself. This helps you practice pronunciation, intonation, and speaking fluency. Yes, role-playing is a fun way to practice speaking. You can also record yourself and compare it to the original dialogue. This helps you identify areas for improvement and track your progress over time. Another way to integrate movies into your study routine is to watch them with a language partner. Find a friend or join a language exchange group where you can watch and discuss movies together. This adds a social element to your learning and makes it more interactive. Watching with a language partner is very beneficial. You can help each other understand difficult parts, discuss new vocabulary, and practice speaking. Plus, it's more fun to watch movies with someone else. Yes, learning with others can be very motivating. 
Another tip is to mix up the genres and types of movies you watch. Don't stick to just one genre or type of movie. Explore different genres, like romantic comedies, dramas, action movies, and documentaries. This exposes you to a wider range of language and cultural contexts. Mixing up genres keeps your learning experience interesting and diverse. It also helps you develop a more comprehensive understanding of English. For example, you might learn casual, everyday language from romantic comedies and more formal language from historical dramas. Finally, remember to enjoy the process. Learning English with movies should be a fun and enjoyable experience. Don't stress too much about understanding every word. Focus on enjoying the story and let your language skills improve naturally over time. That's right, enjoying the process is crucial. When you have fun, you're more likely to stick with it and make steady progress. Thank you for listening, everyone. We hope you found these tips helpful and that you're ready to integrate movies into your English study routine. See you next time. Goodbye, everyone.